Hi everyone, it's Mike here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's time for another mission inspiration prompt. So the prompt for this week is minimalism. So embrace simplicity as a pathway to liberation. Shed the excess, revealing the essence. Like a serene landscape, declutter your life. Find abundance in the minimalist canvas where each intentional stroke creates space for clarity. Navigate with purpose as the beauty of simplicity unfolds on enriching your journey. So minimalism. Um, this is going to be a really interesting one. It's going to be interesting to see what everybody does with this one because um, lots of people have difficulty with negative or white space on an art journal page. Um, lots of people struggle in a huge way with just adding the bare, bare minimum to an art journal page. And I have to admit, I will hold my hand up to this one. I'm just as guilty because if you do a real minimalist art journal page, there is always, always that temptation to fill the space that is left behind. And it's really difficult to just get up and walk away from an art journal page which you don't necessarily consider as finished so it will be a real exercise in restraint this one and um, that being said <laughs> i have gathered together quite a few bits and pieces for um, a collage art journal page um but before i do any of that i grabbed a few quotes and a few pieces um, i'm going to stick in this onto my uh, the inside of the page that I'm going to be working on today. So I'm just going to use glue today. And I've got a an Elmer's school glue. It's one of those purple ones that changes colour. So normally I stick them in with tape, but today I'm going to use glue since we're going to do collage. And of course, while I was thinking about what to do for this art journal page today, I'm thinking I can't really just do a real simple um, art journal page, a real minimalist art journal page, because the video's only going to take five minutes. <laughs> I thought, well, you know, it's going to be, again, it's going to be a struggle just to do a real minimalist page. And I did think, okay, I should just have a piece of white paper and say, there you go, I'm done. It's a polar bear in a blizzard. <laughs> But no, the temptation is there. Okay, so minimalism. So that's the page we're going to work on this side. So like you saw, I had a few bits and pieces that I had already got out. Um, so just some paper. So this one actually is the right size for the sheet, just by happenstance. Everything I'm using today, apart from... Um, the random words and numbers sheets, that's a digi download on my website. There's two pages of random words and numbers, if you can get the other one. Yeah, so that's the two pages. I have already cut some pieces out of this one. So are we not focused properly? There we go, is that better? Right, random words and numbers. So like I said, I'm going to be using one of these just random words and numbers off the, one of these sheets today. Uh, like I said, it is a digi download which is available on the website, so there is a link to my website down below. Um, I'm also going to be using that and just a sheet from a dictionary page, but not necessarily that dictionary page, because that one I got out for, um, for a Valentine's project uh, that I'm already thinking about, because it's now February. So let's go to... Um, let's see if we can find the word minimal on here. Mini. Mincing lane. Nice. Minimal. There we go. We'll have that. So let's just run. So don't worry about me destroying this book. It's an old dictionary. The pages were already falling out in places before I got it. All right. I bought a dictionary and an old Bible at the same time. Right, so we've got the word minimal there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stick this page down 
because collage can be whatever you want it to be. Again, you can do a minimal collage with clusters or you can go a complete surrealist if you want to. Cut out shapes and faces and pieces of lemon slice for the sun or whatever. You can really go to town if that's the way you're feeling. Okay, so got that. I'm not going to use the full page. I'm going to tear it just after that line down the middle. And I'm going to glue that down just like that. So yeah, sometimes art journal pages don't take a long time to do. Sometimes you can do one in 10 minutes or five minutes as the mood takes you. So let's put that in the middle or near enough in the middle anyway. About there. I'm leaving a little bit of a, a gap on the edge. And you could introduce a little bit of colour here if you wanted to. You could have a bit of splatters, a few um, sprinkles if you want. It's not a problem. Um, and then I've got some stickers that I bought from Timu ages ago. Well, I say stickers. I think some of these are stickers. Um, Smart, and I spent ages trying to take the back off one. <laughs> um, but you know, um, this is a little bit wide. I'm going to trim it. Yeah, I spent ages trying to take the back off one, and it didn't didn't have a removable back. So, all right, so I'm going to stick that down. Dumped that piece of white scratch card that I had. That was the reason I had it out, so I could do this kind of thing. All right, so that's going up there. Now I'm hoping that I have got this the right way up. I'm judging by the picture of the pagoda in the background that I have. Um, and again, the quote that's there at the moment, I don't know what that says but I will put it on the bottom of the screen here and um, I'll try and get it translated so we know what it is. It'll probably be something like product catalog. <laughs> um, and then we've got this. So again, I'm just going to trim a little bit of the excess off there. So this is a Shakespeare quote from Hamlet. Listen to many speak to a few which i really really like now this definitely is a sticker so let's remove that is it, is it, is it, this isn't going to make me out to be a liar now is it it is it's not a sticker oh good grief it says sticker on the packet but i've never been able to get the backs off Peel that up, and then I'm going to stick that down here. Now, one of the reasons why I went for this because it has the similar sort of colours to the guy's suit. And that <coughs> is going to go. Now, I'm not bothered about the white outline. Really, really doesn't bother me. Now, is this a sticker? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Are we going to try and remove the back of something that doesn't have a back? And there's no obvious crack back either. Yeah, I don't think it is a sticker. They say they are stickers and then when you get them, they're either impossible to remove the backs. Oh no, there we go. It is a sticker. 
which probably means that that one was as well. But if you want sturdiness, so I'm going to do just there at the bottom. So you've got minimalist there on minimal, actually in the art journal, in the dictionary page, in the background. So, all right, I'm going to let the glue sit just for a second or two, and then I'll be right back. It's been a few minutes while that glue has just been kind of gra drabbing, drabbing and drying, grabbing and drying. I need more coffee today. Um, so I am going to add just a little bit of stenciling in the background. So I've got these two new masks, which are new releases for February. So this one is Abstract Grunge Grid, which is a mask. So you're just going to get that kind of nice uneven edge if you go over with distress or paint or whatever. Um, and the other one to the collection is the abstract grunge scribble which will give you some real abstracty kind of shape I'm not going to use that one today so i'll put that one to one side i'm going to use this one because this it's got more of a linear kind of um feel to it so i'm just going to put it down and i'm going to use a light distressing over the top so this this one is weathered wood um, and i did have a brand new foam there we go so let's stick that down. Let's just see. Now, the reason I've gone for weathered wood, because it's kind of like a greeny gray, which I think would go and complement the suit. Let's get plenty of that on. This is a really old ink pad, so it's not as juicy as it once was. But that's okay. We only want a minimal coverage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add a little bit. Actually, let's just add a little bit over here, first of all. So just nice and gentle. Like I said, I only want it to be a real kind of minimal cover. I'm going to fade out. So it just disappears like so and then do the same thing up here just gentle swirling motions and then i'm just flicking out from the inside of the stencil outwards like so and then just a third one down here. And I'm just covering the edge of the paper because I don't want it to be an abrupt line. And then we'll just go just a little here. Just nice and gentle. And that is pretty much it. I don't think I want to do any more with that. So all I need to do now is grab a pen. And of course, I've left it at the other side of the room. So I'm just going to use the same pens that I usually do. And then let's do my signature over here. And then put the date next to it. So it's the, is it the 3rd of February today? There we go. And that's it. That's my minimal art journal page for February, which is all about that minimalism. So probably a short video today, but you know, sometimes 
that's what it takes. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me create this little collage art journal page today. If you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up because it really does help spread the word about myself and my YouTube channel uh, to people who have not yet found me. Don't forget you can share the video with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. And if you haven't joined us over in the Mission Inspiration Facebook group you can do so by following that link there. There will be a clickable link below the video. So that's all from me for now. I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.